part of the uh, uh, work that uh, you're doing in, in uh, Ireland, we have a collaboration set up with, with, with uh, Virginia Tech in, in the US. Um, so one of the interesting aspects of this whole conference is the ability to interoperate with different uh, systems, uh, different uh, protocols and technologies. So. Um, the demonstration where we have at the moment is that our independent developed system called Iris and, and based on the classic project using the uh, dice band trial frequencies is talking to uh, communication with Tom's uh, Virginia Tech's uh, developed system. The hardware we use, uh, we, we do as most of the signal processing as possible in, in the software and uh, the hardware we're using at the moment is um, Universal Software in Hifl or, or USERP and uh, it allows us to access the access to frequency ranges using in the uh, trials. So as part of the work as well you know, in the conference track, interoperability is, is an important issue, the ability to, to perform and assess the coexistence where, where two services can occupy the same amount of spectrum and uh, not interfere with each other. So the second part of a demonstration will show that we use um, OFTM, we figure out OFTM where um, we take advantage of the white space spectrum and we uh, use it for our own needs. So within the grand scheme of, of the demonstrations here today and, and this week, we have multiple organisations who are all using the trial frequencies also, and um, we are both interfering with them and also coexisting in an effort to show that the technical concepts being presented in, in the sessions um, have actual practical value and that the, some of these prototype systems um, are a very good confidence for deployment in the future. So, just to explain some more about the system, this is uh, Tom Rondo from uh, Virginia Tech. Yeah, so what we have going on here is, as Keith explained, we have the Universal Software Radio Peripheral. Uh, we've been working on this. I'm a uh, developer on the Kinder Radio Project, and that's essentially where the user came from out of that project. Uh, it's, it was designed to be more generic than just uh, specifically for the Kinder Radio, and many other research institutions have been using it for many different types of software defined radios, including uh, CTVRs work and IRIS. Uh, but that's really where, the, where the, the similarities end between our software radios. Uh, it's, it's just the RF front end. It just takes raw data and uh, converts it up to an RF frequency, uh, just the carrier frequency up there. Everything else that goes on behind the scenes happens in the developer's processor. So we're, we're very based in software. Two different software systems uh, that we've gotten to work with the physical layer uh, to, to interoperate seamlessly with the physical layer and the uh, network layer uh, to actually convey uh, bits across here. We can actually download uh, between two systems uh, files and information, uh, and if you look at the uh, what we have set up here, we have these three machines that are kind of monitoring what's going on, two machines that are actually doing the communications, and one that's just showing what's happening in the spectrum that's out there now. And as, as part of the, the conference, we, we wanted to give the delegates a window into the wireless world to actually see what actually happens in, in the spectrum we made. So we have a number of, of uh, uh, spectrum analyzers which we use to see what's going on, which we're sponsored by and written. And uh, we have them all connected together in the network. So in different locations, you can see how, what the concentration of our, our the, where the activity is concentrated and uh, what effects are going on. So you can see multiple signals all close together. You can see how they, they separate apart. I mean, how close can you squeeze all these services together? And it's all about showing that the uh, spare spectrum, where, where Ireland is a great spot for, for having available spectrum, can be used um, uh, for, for the deployment and first and foremost, the testing and trialing of, of these new and innovative services. And so the next important concept is, is that of, of um, rendezvous, where you have, you want to find your signal, you want to, you have, you have you using spectrum, how do you get all these different devices in the network to find out where they're going? So the, the, one of the really good advantages of, of doing everything in software is the ability to, you know, you, can, you work with these uh, concepts that are called cyclostation signatures, where you embed a watermark into the signal, or like, a, like an identifier that says, I'm, I'm a secondary user, I'm on this frequency. So by searching for that, you can, you can, you can uh, find the, 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 uh, the other signal and you can coordinate. So the next part of the demonstration is where um, uh, in, a, in, a, in a big chunk of spectrum in one of the channels, we have a signal, but we don't know which frequency is operating at. Uh, so Paul Sutton has worked, developed a scheme that can find that signal and the exact frequency rendezvous where it, it reacquires as it changes to the right frequency and then communication can happen. And the whole point of all this is that the, eventually the ability to communicate can be taken for granted where people run no, 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 no,
not to use not as much technical know-how uh, to operate in the It's one thing to be able to, to synchronize on the physical layer with these waveforms. Uh, it's a whole other issue when you're trying to synchronize on these digital layers, these protocol layers. There has to be collaboration among the, uh, among the users, among the different radios. These are two completely different systems that we had to make sure that, that each other knew what, what format was being expected on these layers. Uh, once you get up there, they're man-made uh, protocols and they can mean anything.